Hi there, Henry Smith here from MindWorthyEnrich.com. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk about how to understand the game of money and play it well. So um, this is a cryptocurrency portfolio update, something I've been doing on, the, on a daily basis. Um, and started recording it and documenting it from February 2021. And all the portfolio was actually started before then. So I do this for analysis basis and um, research basis and also um, case study basis. So make sure you stay to the end of this video because I always talk about something of interest at the end. And in case you're wondering why I have these videos playing in the background, it's for inspiration, motivation and inspiration about the lifestyle that's available for each and every one of you, us if we're prepared to get our mindset in gear and invest right. So anyway, let's get on with it. Before I continue, actually, I've got to do the disclaimer. So I'm not a financial planner or financial advisor. I'm not an accountant, CPA. So make sure you do your own due diligence, your own research, and also understand that um, with investing, it can be, you know, there can be risks. So do not invest more money than you can afford to lose. So with that said, I'm going to click the green button and share my screen it's a spreadsheet i've been using those of you who've been watching these videos you know the drill those of you who are new to these videos i've got three columns the um Bitcoin column bitcoin column and the totals column this goes back to february the green green and red um areas as green is when it's gone forward the portfolio has gone forward on the previous day and red is when it's gone backward on the previous day as you can see so that's what we have forward and backward, forward and backward. So yesterday was kind of like a semi-red day. And um, here we are today on the 13th of August, 2020, uh, August, 13th of October, 2021. So this is the figures I get, the, the page I get the figures from, it comes in from a live feed down here into an asset group. And I get the final figures put on this page. It's updated every 10 minutes. And this portfolio, particular portfolio, consists of one whole Bitcoin and an assortment of specially selected alternative coins, apart from Bitcoin and other thought coins. And um, this is the total of the portfolio. And this on the left hand side is in US dollars, right hand side is in British pounds or pounds sterling. And what we have here is a percentage split. It actually changes. Uh, it's not, you know, it's now 27, 30, 27%, 73% or uh, Bitcoin or altcoin. And basically what this actually also shows is, because it really was a 25, 75% split. Altcoin, uh, Bitcoin has become more dominant and it's kind of moving ahead of, of the altcoins in terms of the ratio of growth. Anyway, uh, the figure I want here is, is um, this figure here, 150,411.40. 150. 150,411 40. So let's, go, let's just check that. That's great. Let's bring this down. So that's, that's up from yesterday. So that can go green. And the totals figure, and that will give us the Bitcoin after I've done calculated the totals. 205,132. 16. 205,132.16. 205,132.16. Yeah. So let's bring that down. And we've got, oh, minus. That stays red, minus 723. Bitcoin is obviously down, minus 2,000. So Bitcoin is 54,075. So Bitcoin is down to, yeah, to, to 2,574. So the overall portfolio is down to $723. Okay, that's fine, that's great. Let's take a look at the, um, the market. You see, Bitcoin shows in the last 24 hours down uh, uh, 3.94 percent. So there's yeah, oh, the, the Ethereum down 3.8 percent. So um, 
Let's take a look at the chart. Bitcoin continues on this upward trend, though, you know, in order for it to go up, you know, nothing ever goes up in a straight line. It kind of goes up and then does this type of thing here, and then goes to another one, that's, you know, so it's probably doing something like that here before it goes to the next high. And then it will come down again, do its thing, and then come back up to the next high. And that, that's the really interesting thing of when, you know, when it decides to break past this all-time high, previous all-time high of 64,000, 64,000 plus. So we, sh we shall watch this as it, it seems to be going on an uptrend anyway, as you can see, it's, it seems to be going on an uptrend. Um, like I said, the, we had the Golden Cross in um, September, mid-September, and um, because of the Golden Cross, it, you know, created a, an upward trend. Bitcoin is still feeding off that upward trend. Um, these could arch over later to create a death cross, but it doesn't seem like they're doing it at the moment, even though we've had a couple of days of downtrend. Um, the Gaussian channel, it has finally made a, um, like I said, the, the last candle that was formed over the last five days was uh, completely outside of the tunnel, the channel. And this new candle here, let's just zoom in a bit bigger. This new candle here, this form started, you know, uh, one just over not even a day yet, it's about 12 hours, uh, 14 hours ago. It's still a yarn candle. So we have to see whether it comes back, the wick comes back into the tunnel or whether it will stay outside. But we, can, we won't know that until four days and 10 hours, you can see on the left hand side, four days and 10 hours. And uh, we shall see if, this, if it, it forms and stays outside, then okay, that's one step. It doesn't mean because it's, you know, here it popped it head and shoulders outside the tunnel, and then it seems to escape, but one foot out, two foot out. If it gets a third step out, then you can probably say it has definitely escaped. But, you know, you have to be cautious. It's looking, it's looking positive, and there are other signs to say that it could be on its way, but it doesn't, it's not always the case. You know, I, I, I looked at previously, um, at the time when it came out to anyway, there was a time when I saw it previously where it came out and um, it was dragged back in. But I don't know where that is. Further, anyway, further back. But it, you know, so we just have to be cautious. I'm sure I've seen it here. Uh, yeah, was it here? It was here. Look here. It came out of the tunnel with the head and shoulders, body, shall I say, half in, half out, kind of. And then we had two clear candles that uh, were outside. They formed outside. This formed outside. But the third one came back in. So. We can't be too, um, we, you know, we can't predict just yet until we see what that third candle does. So let's see what the second candle does. Let's go back here. Let's see what the second candle does, which is the second candle right now. If it stays outside, then we see what the third candle does. Um, but if it escapes this this red line and goes in, you know, into towards the green, the, you know, the third candle. Outside one, two. So this doesn't count. I'm talking about one, two. The third one that goes, you know, in towards the green, across the green. Then we're off to the races. You know, it's going to be a new all-time high. Um, this indicator talks about. It shows the trend has has gone down a little bit. As you can see, um, it's still an upward trend, but it has reduced a bit. And this, the strength of the trend is, but the strength of the trend is still there with the yellow line. Okay, this, this here showed a very high strength of a downward trend. 
and this was a reasonably high strength of, of a um, upward trend. Then we had a downward trend. Now we're, we're, you know, we're in an upward trend with the green on the top and the yellow at the bottom, like a mouth opening up. The more the mouth opens up, the, the better the trend, the higher the trend. And like I said, whichever way it is, but green on the top, red at the bottom, the mouth hasn't closed yet. So we're still watching to see it's not the end of the, of the trend. But there is a, a downtrend which can, like I said, like, like, like we have here, this was a downtrend, then it can turn up and we could be doing something similar. You just have to watch and see. But as long as, you know, as the green is on the top and the red is on, on the bottom, we're bullish for now. So we should keep you posted. Okay, keep you posted. And if you like this kind of content, and because um, we're just looking just at the facts and the charts, and there, are, you know, there are other um, other things that that uh, you know we, we look at, but this is ones I'm I'm showing. Um, sometime in the future, maybe bringing in a, a powerful uh, buy and sell indicator service to show you exactly the best time to buy and the best time to to sell. But we're, we're, um, that may be coming in the future, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. And this IamWealthyAndRich.com is about you, by the way, about you saying I am wealthy and rich, not about me saying it, it's about you saying it. So it's you are wealthy and rich .com, but you, when you say it, you're referring to yourself in the first person. So um, how to understand the game of money and play it well. And uh, scroll down and get your millionaire mindset and investment strategy free. And um, put your name and email address in there. I'll send it to you straight away. Start working on your mindset and stabilize your investment strategy. And then we, you will also be on the list and alerted if, we do, if and when we decide to bring out that buy and sell indicator a service so i will i um yeah so just scroll down and get that that once again i'm worth the rich .com, and i look forward to seeing you on the inside don't forget to like share subscribe and uh, hit the notification button and thanks once again thank you very much for your time in um, watching this video and i look forward to seeing you in the next one have a great and wonderful fantastic and prosperous day Remember, I am wealthy and rich, you are wealthy and rich. Only if you say you are. Bye for now.